Hey guys, Amy here. So we're continuing on with our updated Cricut Design Space tutorials. So this one we are going to be focusing on the upload. So right now I'm just in Cricut Design Space. I'm going to go into starting a new project. And you will find the upload button over here on this left side. So this is used if you want to upload any file that you find online, an SVG or a PNG file. Um, or a photo if you want to use for print and cut, things like that. So I'm going to go to my site first and just show you um, a leap of faith crafting. I have a bunch of free SVG files on my site. And we're going to come in and download one. So I'm going to go to the bottom where I have my download button here. So all sites that you go to are going to be different. We all do it a different, few different ways. I have it automatically to download when you click it. So it should automatically download onto your computer in a zip file. And then all you need to do is extract it. And then it will be in a folder on your computer. So when we come back into Design Space, we're going to click on this Upload button on the left. And then on this upload image right here. And then you can either dra drag and drop it or you can browse. So I'm going to click on browse and open up my folder and just grab this SVG file right here. So since, since it's already an SVG file, we don't need to do anything with it. You'll notice that it comes in with that checkered background. That means that there's no background there. So I'm just going to hit this upload. You can name the image up here. So then I click on it and click on add to canvas. And there it is ready to use already. So I can ungroup it and move things around. And this is all ready to cut and go. OK, so let's see about one that you need to clean up a little bit. So I love Pixabay. This has a ton of free. Um, files on it that you want. I just typed in Valentine's up here. And here you get an option of different things. And I'm just checking vector graphics. And you'll see that there's a ton of cute things. We are going to download one of these. And OK, let's see. Say we want to download this. We're going to click on the free download. And you see it gives you the option of PNG files or SVG. So I'm going to just download the PNG first to show you that. We go into Cricut and click on Upload and Upload again. And I'm going to browse and click on this. OK, so a PNG will have a transparent background. So it comes in like this. Um, the one thing is PNGs, they don't have the layers. And you'll see as we change it to simple, moderate, it will have different things come in and out. So I'm going to save it as complex and continue. And you'll see that the background is already gone. Um, but the one thing, just if I don't do anything and apply and continue, you'll see on the cut image, it is just the outline of them. You don't get the layers. This is the print and cut, so you can definitely use that. Um, but if we go back, there are a few ways to get at least kind of a cut out. You can come in with your selection on and just click on these parts here. And those will at least cut out. And there are a few. You can zoom in here um, to click on anything you don't want. Okay, and then there's also a preview up here that you can do. So this shows it would cut out like this. Okay, and if I apply and continue. And I can save this as a cut image and click on it and click on Add to Canvas. 
and it comes up. Okay, so this, if you wanted a silhouette or something like that, that's how kind of you would do that. Um, if you want a couple layers, we can do it. We're going to go back in to upload that. We're going to upload it a few different times to get a few of the layers. So I'm going to click on complex here. And now I'm going to remove, because I just want, say, these flowers up here. So I'm going to come up here. Here's your crop up here right here. So say I just want these flowers here. So I'm just going to crop like that. And then I'm going to move everything else around it. So I'm going to go back to my eraser tool. And on my select tool, I can click on just the different colors here. And they delete off. And it gets it takes a while to come in and clean up all of this stuff. Okay, and then I'm going to use my eraser tool. And you can change the size here. I'm going to go in. Oops, that's too big. I'm going to come in and now while I hold down my cursor, I'm just going to glide over things to erase those. I release my cursor to move it around and kind of get the big ones out first. And then I'm going to make my eraser smaller and come in here and while I hold it down, go around all these parts here. Okay, so this does take some time, but I just wanted to show you how you can clean up images there. Okay, so you just keep going and you can click on the preview to kind of see what it would look like and what else you have to get out. Okay, so you keep going and just kind of doing as much as you want by holding your cursor and the eraser. So I'm going to hit apply and continue, and then I can save these as cut images. So if I want, I can change these colors to so like purple and resize them. So they kind of fit over her. So that's an option to get a few layers is to upload it a few different times. Um, another way is using the contour tool. And we will talk about that on a different one. Okay, so I just wanted to show you if there is a JPEG to upload. Okay, let's say we go to illustrations here. Okay, so let's say we want to upload this one. Let's see if this is a JPEG. Okay, we're going to download this one. And click on the upload, upload, browse again. We're going to pull this one in. Okay, so if we want to do a print and cut, I would leave it as complex. But if we want to get rid of some stuff, I am going to make it more simple so it's easier to get, to remove those backgrounds there when it's just a few colors. So I'm going to click on continue and we're actually going to come down and reduce the colors. Let's see if we just go to three. I actually want to get the.
just kind of get the outline, but I want her. Okay, so say I just want to move, remove kind of inside and get the silhouette to, to cut out. So I'm going to use my selection tool and I'm just going to click on these. And you'll see now that it's reduced the number of colors. Anytime I click on that, it will re it will get rid of the, the color that's attached to each, as long as it's attached to each other and it's the same color, it will remove it. So it still definitely takes some work. And I'm just clicking on each part of these sections. Oops, and if you do that, you can definitely go undo up here on the left side and kind of keep going. So you'll kind of get a feel for how many colors you want and don't want. Undo, that's if I, so if I preview it, <clears throat> You'll see how we're getting there, but I have a bunch of stuff up in here that I need to get into the eraser. And come up here and erase to clean it up. Okay, so again, you just kind of keep hold down your cursor and erase all those little specks and things like that. So you just keep going and removing all the parts that you have, and that's about it. So I hope this helps get you going on uploading images, and please make sure you subscribe below, and have a great day.